Hi Tiana. Hello. It's uh, MJ from ABS CBN. Um, are you based in the North, in the US? Yes. Okay. So you just got back to do uh, a couple of. Uh... I've been here a month. <laughs> Actually, I, I came for Christmas. Uh, I'm staying till Feb to celebrate my grandfather's birthday. I know. Hundred years. I can't miss that. So I'm, I'm here for around two months, and yeah, just promoting my single while I'm here. Right. Okay. You already mentioned it. One hundred years. Yeah. Tiana, the secret. What's the secret for lasting that long? Yeah, oof, you know what? I never really seen him eat anything fried. He's always drinking warm water. Uh, he's just very healthy. Soups, lots of seafood, and he also makes sure that he keeps his mind stimulated. Okay. So he's always reading, always writing. He's always playing his games on his iPad. Okay. Puzzles and stuff like that. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Nagiging ano ba siya? Parang joke in the family that uh, Lolo, you're turning a hundred. Oh, yeah, yeah. We see all the memes, um, and you know we share. We have family group chat, and we're always kind of laughing at all the memes about him. What's your favorite? Oh, my favorite one was I saw this tweet where it was JPE outlives Cat <laughs> <laughs> I think that's I think that's my favorite. one. I know, but and dami nang nangyari, but your yeah. Lola is still around. Yeah, absolutely. Is, is he excited for the 100,000 pesos? Actually, I don't know. I've spoken to him about it. I don't know. I don't know if he knows. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the bonus that you get yes. if you reach 100. Yes. But uh, let's go back to you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we all love a good R&B. Absolutely. Uh, it's, gr it's getting, uh, the audience for R&B in the Philippines is, get, is growing. Mainstream. Yep, mainstream. So uh, I think what you sang was already released in the US, is that right? Yes, I released it Jan 19, uh, worldwide. Okay. Yes. Uh, are we expecting more visibility here in the Philippines? I would like to, absolutely. I mean, this is home. This is home base. You know, this is where my roots are. Um, and I, I would love to, you know, come back to do some shows out here perform at music festivals and collaborate with artists here as well because I, first and foremost, I'm a writer. So I write for a lot of other artists in the U.S. and I would love to do that for artists locally. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. Who do you want to work with? Yeah. Uh, locally, yeah. Um, you know, I don't really know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I do know there's a lot of up and coming R&B talent. I can't quite think off the top of my head, but there's still a few. How about the OGs like Gary B who's retiring this year? I mean, I I'm in the studio a lot with Kiana. Oh, oh yes. so I I write with her. Recently. Same genre. Yes, yeah. I mean, we you know the Phil and community, especially in LA, is very close knit. Right. So we see each other quite often. I see her. I see Robin. Rivera. Jr is also there. Jr Mika. I I get coffee with Mika. All, all the time. We right. actually live like 10 minutes away from each other. Oh. Yeah, so I see them quite often. Right, mm -hmm. right. Um, exciting. Uh, when are you working on a full length album? Um, you know, I, it's never, I've never really tried to because being independent, you have to make smarter decisions. I don't really have a big label that me to push 10 Up to now. songs. So I, I'm, I like doing singles okay. and then maybe EPs. Okay. Uh, every few years, I did. I released an EP in August of twenty last year, last okay. year, and then prior to that, another my first EP came out in twenty twenty. So I've just been kind of doing EPs. I mean, I would love to, but I just need to make sure it's the right time. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're under what publishing for this one? For this? Uh, my own. Your own. Fully independent. Oh, wow. Is it hard to be independent or there's more artistic freedom? If there's a lot of artistic freedom, I think if you're signed or if you're independent, both has its pros and cons. But I like dictating the way my career is going to go. So I have an amazing manager and it's just me and him and we kind of just work together to right. make sure that everything works well. Right. How is everything opening up in LA in terms of uh, Filipinos doing music there? Oh. I, Everyone's so receptive, and uh, the good thing about uh, the United States is each month they always have you know celebrations. So May is Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and October is Filipino American History Month. So during those months, it's very 
busy for Asian American artists like right. myself. So it's it's they, we do get a lot of you know exposure, I guess you could say, especially now that diversity is such a big thing. Right. Mm -hmm. And they just want more diversity within all industries. It's great. But are you there? Are there plans to penetrate mainstream in the U.S.? Yeah. Of course, of course, that's the plan, but it's very hard. I know. But I'm not giving up. Right, mm -hmm. right. No, because you, your sound earlier, Daisy's was, it sounded like I'm listening to a Brandy or a Monica kind of trip. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I, I mean, they're my idols, you know, I'm really listening to them. Uh, and obviously one day I would love to write for them, work with them in some capacity. Right. So just singing, Tiana, no other plans, let's say, acting or musical or? Um, I studied musical theater actually for two years. Uh, that's always been there, okay. you know, but I'm waiting for the right opportunity. Okay. Uh, it's not something I'm proactively going for, okay. but if the opportunity is there, I will definitely take it. Right. Yeah. No, because it's back here. Musical theater is back in the yes. Philippines. Yes. Broadway is open again. Absolutely. I know there's Miss Saigon coming Exactly. Next yeah. We have Filipino Australians performing. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I love Broadway. Every time I go to New York, <coughs> I try to always. Shows. What's your reaction of your Lolo in your career? I don't. I mean, he's <laughs> he'll he'll be like, oh, I'm gonna house music. I mean, like it's great, you know. And I think that's kind of the extent of it because, you know, I'm I'm just his granddaughter, too, right. you know. And but we we'll, we'll, we always talk, you know, like, are you doing well? Did you study? And I'm like, yes, I did finish school. You know, he's he's very business minded. Right. You know? Right. So. Pero pinapakanta ka ba niya? Oh, I, all the time. <laughs> Every time there's guests, you know, they, they always ask me to sing. Do you sing like your Lola? Uh, I'm not classically as classically <laughs> trained as her. But you know, growing up, I did. I did idolize I'm her. I'm sure. Like, she still sings. I what's, know. What's your Lola's favorite? Did I request sale? It's always something from a musical. Right. Something that my, my Lila can sing as well. So like Colors of the Wind from Pocahontas, like they, I'm always saying that or it's something from like the sound of music. That's what they like. So dapat kakantahin niya sa 100. I actually have two songs planned. Wow. Yes. Uh, neither of them are actually for musicals, but Right. But it's it's two songs that I think he will appreciate. Maybe you can spill just kahit konti lang a few the beans to what's going to happen. Yeah, what's the celebration yeah. going to be like? Yeah. Um I know for a fact I'm singing two songs, <laughs> um, and I know I think there's obviously going to be a few people doing speeches. I know my mom has one planned, um, but we're really just celebrating his life. You know, right. 100 years is just such an amazing accomplishment, and not everyone in the world can say that they have reached 100. So I know us grandkids, we have a party. Planned. Is there a big party happening? Yeah. I, um, I know there's. We have one that's with just family, okay. and then I think there's one with more more friends and okay. other people that he's you know worked with. Um, so you'll be singing for both? Um, I think only for one. For only the family. for one. Yeah, yeah. For, for the family one. Yeah. But how's his health now? Amazing. Being 100. Walking, sunbathing, always doing his puzzles, reading <laughs> and writing. He's so sharp. He's sharper than me. Right, I, right. I literally like I'll talk to him and I'm like, oh wow, okay. Like I'm not even thinking that quick. Right. Yeah, he's, he's doing really well. But <laughs> being in the bloodline of politicians, do you also have plans or are there persuasions? Looks like a big no. Uh, <laughs> come? I it's never <laughs> been a thing for me. I coming out of my mom's womb, I just was singing and dancing. Right acting right away so I don't think it was ever there. <laughs> <laughs> and I it's I mean I think because too I was the youngest and I have three older siblings. I think when it came to me they did really pressure me right, into right. anything. They just let me do it. Do your own thing. Yeah. Yeah. Can I do a follow up on the meme uh, MJ was uh, mm -hmm. Talking to you about earlier, your Lola sees the memes. You show them the memes. Yes. What was his reaction? He's just like, like, oh, then he eats Kind masha. of. He's he definitely laughs, but I don't think he understands it. Like, uh, the, like the humor, 
but I know he's he's seen it, like the the dinosaur one. Yeah, he's, he's seen it, and he's just like, ha. Ah. But I don't think he like will, like under, I don't think he knows who like Pat Mel is and stuff like that. Uh, right, you know? right. And how about the the dinosaur? But the dinosaur, you know, like he he knows that one and he he likes that one. Yeah. He laughed at it. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. So what's uh, what's um, in store for you here in Manila? Um, how many um, places will we be visiting? It seems like it's all work. Wala nang bakasyon gaano. Like you're not even going to, you know, take a dip in the beach or something. Actually, no. You know what? I mean, I'm not really too pressed about that because the weather's kind of been wishy-washy. Mm -hmm. So I don't mind staying here. But I mean, I'm a big workaholic. You know, since I'm not in LA, I'm not able to, you know, be in the studio all day. I, I really enjoy doing this and getting to know people and having people get to know me through doing this as well. So I know I'm visiting a lot of radio stations and, you know, other, uh, have other guestings and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to people getting to know me, listening to my song and seeing what else there is to offer. But by any chance, are there any big time producers that you're working on or working with in LA? Yeah, I all the producers that I work with are either Grammy nominated or right. winners, right. Um, because I like learning from them. Right. So uh, Lainey Stewart, Rockstar, Tim Kelly from Tim and Bob, uh, Biscuit and Butter, that they all have incredible discographies, and I'm very blessed to be able to learn from them and to work with them as well. Do you have a favorite collaboration? Oh yes. My uh, single last year with Bobby V is probably my favorite because I was also able to interpolate one of his older R&B songs and make it new and contemporary, so that was my favorite. How does it feel um, working with, sorry, how does it feel working with other artists collaborating with them and creating music for them? I love it. I love collaboration because no collaboration is ever the same. Because my mind is working with this mind right now. That can't be replicated. No one else can do that. So as much as I can, I like to collaborate. I can write songs on my own, but after a while, it tends to kind of sound the same because it's just my brain, and you know, my brain can only do so much. So it's nice to get a fresh set of ears once in a while. You mentioned interpolating. Have mm -hmm. you thought of interpolating your uh, Lola's music? You know, I actually have tried to, not just hers, but several several uh, Filipino artists, but I need it to be right before before releasing it. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I would like to release, you know, a record in Tagalog too. One of these days. How about the Philam uh, artists like Apple the App? Mm -hmm. or have you thought of uh, reaching out and doing a collab with them? I've actually met him. Uh, I met him at a party in LA. Uh, last year, and he's very kind. I, I would love to. I would look, love to work with more Filipino American artists. I mean, my favorite is Bruno Mars. Right. I love him. Right. <laughs> I mean, I don't know anybody that does it. He's, he's so likable. So, you know, one of these days, I would like to say I worked with him in some capacity. So, meron bang mano? You're working on it? Is there... I mean, I'm a small independent artist, you know. Hopefully, I run into him. I was just in Japan, and he was just in Japan. I was like, oh, I'm so sad I didn't get to watch him. <laughs> uh, but you know, there's always Phil M parties, like all the time, and you always like run into everyone there. You meet everyone. Uh, so hopefully, you know, one day I I get to run into him. <laughs> but I really am such a big fan. I've seen him live a few times too. So. All right. Do you have any plans to do full time here? So you know, people can. Um, no, not full time. I, I come, you know, maybe twice or thrice a year. Um, but my home base right now is LA in terms of the people that I work with and the people that, you know, for my music, for my visuals, and, you know, just all my friends. And I have a dog there. <laughs> so LA is where, where I'm stationed at the That's moment. That's right. Do you have a family? I mean, you're, are yeah, you single? Are my, you, are you? my dad's side of the family, they're from San Diego, which is about an hour and a half. Of LA, right. so my dad's there. You know, I see him from time to time. Yeah. But you're very much single, right? No, I'm. Single. Okay, there you go. All right. Just and to contextualize things. Yes, uh, in a relationship. I've been in one for about a year and a half now. Yeah, he's very supportive. He's here, but not here, but like in the house. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Filipino also. No, he's not. Okay. He's half Puerto Rican, half African American. 
how, how what's her what's his uh, his reaction to your music? Oh, he loves it. Like you know, I always hear him listening to my music, <laughs> and he's always singing it. And he's very supportive, and I am appreciative that I have someone that isn't insecure when it comes to what I do. Yeah. Because he's not in entertainment as well. So. Has he ever visited the Philippines? Yeah, he's here, mm-hmm. but in the house. <laughs> yeah. uh, Diana, you lost weight. You're working on uh, diet or something? No, I just started doing uh, IF. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yep, yep, yep. um, so I eat normally between like 12 to 7 or 12 to 8. And I stopped drinking coffee. No more coffee for me. Yeah, so I started Any day, eat. anytime. Whatever. Yeah, it's more matcha. And I feel that matcha like burns fat quicker and it like helps with the metabolism more than coffee. Because when I drink coffee, I need all the cream, all the sugar. I need it sweet because I don't like the coffee taste. Yeah. So I feel like matcha is slightly better and healthier. So. With that healthier adjustment, did it improve your singing as well? Um, I feel like I do have more energy, right. so it's it's not as hard for me to wake up, warm up my voice. Right. Yeah. How long has it been since you started Aya? Like last year was the ju- when you were here last year. I want to say it was after that, mm-hmm. so maybe like August, September. Mm-hmm. Hasn't been that long, been a few months. Yep. Yeah, yeah, six months. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you know any Tagalog song that you can sing for us? Just a few lines. Uh, if you can. Uh, the <laughs> oh. Actually, this this necklace is ten hundred. Oh, yeah. Again, again, what is it? Uh, this necklace. Tadhana. It's Tadhana in Bay Bay in music. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah. So I mean, I, that's one of my favorite uh, Filipino songs, especially because of the meaning. Mm-hmm. Fate. I believe in fate. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. like I feel like my entire career was also based on fate and that that moment in life where everything just kind of aligned. So. So you're also open to a collab with them and then have given the chance? You know, I you am not too them? familiar with their music, mm-hmm. but I see them everywhere all uh-huh. the time. I know they actually performed in LA. Mm-hmm. I want to say they did of last year. I don't think they sold out, I think. Yeah, 1MX, I think. I think it's 1MX. Yes, yep. the mix yep, uh, the music mix festival. Yes. Mm-hmm. I know they have that in a few cities. They did that in a few cities. You see a few lines. Absolutely. Uh, the sunny lasan, that poor mga mundo. May sana dito, na mga mga ang buong nito. Di ko pa sa patang sa kita lahat na hindi hindi ko i. What's the word? Yeah. 